We back with another video. Let's get straight into it, man. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. What up, gang? I'm back with another video. Before I get started, hit that like button. Hit that like button. It's free. Do it for me. Like, hit that like button. It helped the channel grow. So if you really support the channel, hit that like button. Oh, man, and then you claiming this shit, you ain't providing for this shit? Come on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like niggas like Quando Rondo. You're not fucking with him. Boy, stop. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Boy, Explain. stop it. Uh, is that like... Don't come to the 60s and want to provide now that that, that broke them on your ass. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Like, like we ain't doing that. Yeah. At all. We not doing none of that. Well, that's got to be weird for you because you fuck with Dirk so much. It ain't weird for me. Yeah. It ain't weird for me at all. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You're not from rolling 60s. Oh, really? You're not from, nigga, LA rolling 60s. You're not from rolling 60s, nigga. Right. I'm the hood. We didn't make that call. But you, did, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't put that on the board like you finna make this plate. I don't know, yeah, we didn't make that call, nigga. But didn't Big you and him kind of squash it at a certain point, I feel you like? You got to come talk to the streets. Mm. Big U's a little removed from a lot of it. Nah, he is the streets. You right. got to come talk to the people who feed in the streets. You got to come clear yourself on both angles. Mm. You get what I'm saying? You got to come holler at somebody. I feel it. Period. Uh, you, you went to go holler at Big U. You went to go holler at Hollywood. Like, that ain't Hollywood. He really my big dog. That's my big bro. Mm. Whatever he say, if he say hold down, we going to try as much. You know what I'm saying? But don't. It's, it's, it's not that because now you got little niggas like... Like my little niggas, like the score gang and all that. You got little niggas that's really out here every day rapping, trapping, trying to get they got the city on fire. Why you not fucking with them? Mm. Why you not fucking with them? You got no Jack, you got RS, you got nigga baby you. You got you talk to big you, why you didn't talk to baby you? Right. Them my kids too. What up gang? I'm back with another video. Let's get straight into it, man. Um after the Quando Rondo situation, y'all know he was in LA. Um Brick Baby. Brick Baby did a interview with Adam Twenty Two No Jumper a year ago, and he said, "Quando Rondo ain't no real crib, ain't no real Rolling Sixty crib, high Quando real Rolling Sixty crib." And he didn't get put on in Atlanta. He got, put, I mean, he didn't get put on in LA. He got put on in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Like how that work? You don't even know hood politics and what's going on. He said, "You haven't came to LA and put nobody on." You haven't came to L.A. and talked to nobody. You haven't came to L.A. And, and did no politics. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know what's going on in L.A. He say, so you in Atlanta claiming the gang that's in L.A. Now, I'm pretty sure it's rolling 60s air well, but I'm getting it that rolling 60 was originated in L.A. You feel what I'm saying? If you don't know who Brit Baby is, Brit Baby is Nipsey homie. Him and Nipsey was tight. You know Nipsey rolling 60 Crip. So Brit Baby is official Crip rolling 60. Brit Baby know what he talking about. So if he tell Quando Rondo how you a rolling 60 and you got put on in Atlanta, like it don't work like that. You got to be put on in LA to be a real rolling 60. That's what he's saying. You feel me? He's saying you don't you don't know what's going on. So how? How? You ain't came and checked in with us. You ain't put no rapper on. You ain't came and did nothing for the community of LA to be a part of a gang that's originated in LA. So how? You don't even know that in LA right now. It's a motherfucking, yeah, like on site when you see a crib type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, therefore, you in L.A. don't even know L.A. politics. You in L.A. with a blue bandana ski mask on. Don't even know it's a big war going on right now. Like it always been, but it's more intense. And they trying to pop 60s like a motherfucker. And you walk around with a blue bandana ski mask on. You don't even know what's going on. That's because you ain't tapped into the politics of the rolling 60s, the real people. That's what he's saying. Now, he said this last year. So, Adam 22, like, well, how, you know what I'm saying? Ain't this going to be an issue, though, that Quando Rondo rolling 60, but you rock with dirt? He say, man, no. Because Quando Rondo ain't, real, ain't no real rolling 60 to him. 
He say he locked in with Dirk. He say Dirk is homie. Dirk is homie. Now he's he's been seen, he's been seen multiple times in the studio with Dirk. Dirty Dirk done went to LA and, and rocked with him. And he done went to Atlanta and rocked with Dirk. He just was in Atlanta recently, like. You feel me? Now after he did the interview, he came back. He came back months later and warned Kondo Rondo again. And this is what he said. This what nigga spelled the real line. You are an imitation gangbanger, nigga. If now, if you from out of town and you banging a hood from California. You're an imitation gangbanger if you do not check in. If you do not make sure your hood is funded. If you don't make sure your hood got blicks. If you don't make sure your hood got sticks and nigga, the kids is eating over there. Nigga, a couple nigga, nigga, the niggas who put you down with the play family is straight, nigga. You're an imitation because a motherfucker don't deal with the same enemies we deal with in LA, nigga. You don't deal with the same shit we deal with in L.A. So you claiming this shit for a fashion. And then, nigga, we really out here dying, nigga. Yeah, we feel betrayed, nigga. We will book your bitch ass. Nigga, I got one of the the, the, the first Atlanta 60s, nigga, on hood. One of the first waves, nigga. Chee Chee Cuz on 60 Crip. Every time he get off the plane, cuz he frequents the 60s, nigga. On 60, on the F. Nigga, on Slauson and Crenshaw, nigga. On 6 -0, big bro, where you at? I'm trying to, hey, on 6 -0. Don't owe a nigga nothing, because Cub been down doing this on hood. I ain't going to give you his own report card, cuz. On 6 -0. it's niggas that I've never met. North Carolina, South Carolina. Nigga, you rapping ass niggas on hood. Just because you got some money, you feel like you beat the odds. You can't leave a hood that you never was in, nigga. You claiming our hood. You cannot leave a hood you never was in unless you just get put off. Stop claiming the shit. If you don't want to deal with street politics, stop gangbanging, nigga. So y'all heard him right there. Y'all heard him. You repping the game that you not even in the city. Like, not even in Cali. You don't even know us. How you rolling 60? You feel me? So, this right here, you know what I'm saying? Everybody going crazy. Brick had the house on the do with it. Brick had the house on the do with it. Brick had the house on the do with it. Brick had the house on the do with it. Y'all get in the comments and tell me what you think, man. Listen. um, Like I said, man, this could have been anybody. You feel me? I don't think Brick had nothing to do with it. This could have been anybody. Quando Rondo was walking around with a blue bandana ski mask on. That's a, I'm talking about Crip written all over it. He made himself a target. Somebody ain't even have to know him. He could, a blood could have seen him. It's, it's going down right now. Since Nipsey Hussle passed, like, before Nipsey Hussle passed, they say, a couple people from L.A., I done seen them do interviews and stuff. They say that Nipsey Hussle, YG, and Game kind of brought the Bloods and Crips not, like, together, but they made it well. We ain't trying to kill each other when we on site, and we doing it for the love of the big homies, for the love of Nip, for the love of YG, for the love of Game. But they say when Nip died, they say that shit went back to the way it was. Because now they don't have nobody from rolling 60 to really be down with the blood big dogs like Game and YG. So it's no connection though. Nipsey. Game and YG was keeping the connection between the Rolling Sixty Crips and the Bloods. They was the lifeline to it. But once half of the lifeline died, it's nothing connecting Bloods and the Rolling Sixty Crips anymore. 
So now it's back to the game banging on site. And you walk around that bitch and don't even know. You a target and don't even know it. Listen, gang, you know what I'm saying? Y'all get in the comments and tell me what y'all think about this situation. Like I'm going to tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? I be seeing a lot of people speaking on situations that like this that be brought to the light. Nowhere in history have evidence from a YouTuber making a YouTube video having an opinion about something has been presented or used in court unless that person was involved. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if I, and with, like I said, I ain't saying, I'm not saying, I don't think Brick Baby had nothing to do with it. Like I'm saying, I don't think. But just say if I made a whole, because it's people, it's, it's, I don't see a hundred video of motherfuckers on YouTube right now saying Brick Baby had Kondo Rondo truck shot up, right? But just say if I was one of them people and I and I put all this shit together, I'm talking about I even say if I even had a picture or a video of Brick Baby in the area at the time. You know what I'm saying? Say I put all this shit together and I say Brick Baby did this, Brick Baby did this. And I'm wailing my city ain't even nowhere near it, right? That shit can't even hold up in court because first of all, that's my opinion. That's my speculation. I'm not physically involved. In that case, no way, shape, or form. So that won't hold up. So I need a lot of y'all to get educated with the law. Because I be watching other people's video. I be seeing it under my videos. Y'all be talking about dry snitching and all this shit, man. Listen, educate yourself. Please do. Please do. If that if Brit Baby ain't said, post it. Or somebody that's connected to Brit Baby said it or posted, that shit cannot be used against him in no way. No way. So let's talk about it. Do y'all think gang has something to do with it? Or do y'all think? Quando Rondo, I'm put it like this. Do y'all think rolling 60s, neighborhood rolling 60s in LA had something to do with it? Or do you think he was just caught lacking and he made himself a target by wearing that blue bandana ski mask? My opinion, I think he made himself a target by wearing that blue bandana ski mask and not knowing. What's going on in the city? You feel me? That's just like a tourist. You go in that bitch and you blew down. A lot of tourists and people be getting killed. Visitors and shit be getting killed like that. You blew down. Blood see you. It's on sight. You don't even know. You don't even know your life in the end because you got on this color. You don't even know. Someone be like, hey, hey, who you, you know what I'm saying? What you bang or whatever. And some of them just handle business. Especially if you're in the area where a crip be, or it could go on the other hand where a blood be, you read down. You know what I'm saying? But like, come straight on your post notification. It's free. Do it for me. Okay. Okay. Before I go, merch is coming asap i'm like in a blink of an eye i'm gonna drop these right here hey see how y'all like it and then i'm gonna just pull the gun on the rest there everything everything gonna drop after that but we gonna drop these right here it's free do it for me shorts hey and if you support the channel cop your merch man i'm gonna let y'all know i'm gonna let y'all know i'm gonna put it on my community board when it's officially out. Okay. Promo alert. Listen, gang. I'm doing $20 promo. $20 promo. I've been doing promo for a lot of people. And, hey, I'm talking about 
People been getting good results. A lot of people been hitting me up saying, thank you for the promo. I'm seeing the traffic that's coming. Now, listen, if y'all see my old videos, y'all know Music 101 is my official page. Music 101 YouTube is my backup page. Both pages have been deleted. Both pages have been deleted by Instagram. I don't know why. I don't know why. Now, I need y'all to go follow me on my personal page. And if you need any promo or anything, hit me up on my personal page. For some reason, you have to follow me to be able to hit me up in my DMs.